swap. This is place the boofen. And originally this was gonna be a co-op movie review with Aceleri. Yeah, that is the reason why this video took so damn long. Because I was patient and waiting for him until he was available to do the review with me. Sadly though in the end, he couldn't do the review with me. I'm not gonna tell you why he couldn't such that private, but something came up and he couldn't unfortunately. So I'm doing this review on my own. Now, I'll be honest. I think Christopher Nolan is one of the most overrated directors of all time. I mean, I love some of his movies, but I don't think he's anywhere near one of the greatest directors of all time. Not even close. And because of that, I wasn't expecting much from the movie. And oh boy, I was pleasantly surprised by this movie. It's fucking brilliant! In fact, I'll say it. This is one of Christopher Nolan's best movies. It's right up there with the Dark Knight and Prestige. Yeah, it's really that fucking good. So let's talk about it. This is basically a biographical movie about Oppenheimer, hence the title. The main subject of the movie is the fucking atom bomb, which he invented. Now we're gonna start by talking about Robert Oppenheimer, played by Cillian Murphy. Now, I find the character to be very interesting. Yeah, the reason he wants to make the fucking atom bomb is because he wants to beat the Russians and Germans to inventing something like that. So the US would be the first country to invent that stuff. Now, many times in the movie, is mocked and ridiculed, which makes sense. A bunch of fucking geniuses in the world do get that a lot. So it makes sense that he would be in this movie. Many people in the movie think he's fucking not, which again makes sense. Now what I respect about him the most is that he doesn't let anyone discourage him from doing what he's doing. That's fucking awesome. Now I'm gonna talk about Albert Einstein played by Tom Conti. Now I will admit, Albert Einstein doesn't appear much in the movie. But the performance of Albert Einstein definitely is one of the best fucking performances in this movie. Yeah! Albert Einstein really is great in this movie. As far as I remember, I haven't seen Albert Einstein much in movies. So, seeing a performance of Albert Einstein which is fucking great was definitely fucking great. Now then, there are other characters to talk about, but since it's not really characters that make this movie work. I'm gonna talk about other things. Now what I really love about this movie is just how fucking genius it is. And mind you, I almost never say a movie is genius or intelligent. I mean, I wouldn't say that about some of my favorite movies. But there is no better way to describe it. This movie is fucking genius. What I love about it the most is that it's full of dialogue that makes you fucking think. The dialogue is very thought provoking and it did make me think about a lot of fucking things. The movie isn't just about the atomic bomb, but also about the scientific path behind it, and I find that to be very interesting. Now, this movie is three hours long, and normally the content doesn't justify its length. This is one of the few times where the content absolutely fucking justifies its length. There was no scene in the entire movie that felt unnecessary or that the movie would be better or no different if it was cut out of the movie completely. There is no filler or anything like that. All of the scenes in the movie are fucking important and serve a real purpose. So this movie really spent the three hours fucking well. Honestly, I fucking love this movie like I made clear earlier. But there are a few issues that I have with the movie. I will admit these are nitpicks, but I wanna get into this anyway. First off, I don't think this movie needed any narration at all. I found it very unnecessary. I mean, it's not bad or anything, but the movie wouldn't be much different if there was no narration. We can see on the fucking screen what happened in the past. We don't need open hammer as an old man explaining that shit. That was beyond unnecessary. Another problem that I have with this movie too, is that I can't fucking tell the exact year the movie takes place in. There's no time step or anything telling you exactly at what year we're at. I mean, it's not always necessary, but it would make it easier to keep up with what's going on. Especially since this is a movie based on a true story. I would have preferred if there was a timestamp on when each event took place. Now mind you, those two things that they brought up are major nitpicks. It didn't make me like the movie any less. So it's time for my overall thoughts. 
This movie is fucking brilliant. A masterpiece and definitely one of Christopher Nolan's best movies. And mind you, again, that I'm not a big fan of the guy overall. But when he makes a great masterpiece, I am willing to admit that. So I'm giving this movie the rating two thumbs up. Definitely one of his best right after with The Dark Knight and Prestige. Thank you all for watching and you all have a fantastic day.